Welcome back. You're still watching your story. Now, this festive season, the bulk of bargains and sales took place in large markets on the edges of the city of Johannesburg, Palisa. We set out to find out what the economic geography of Johannesburg can teach us about low prices and large markets. Tande Kakobudenbeki took to the streets and some shopping malls. The study of economic geography is the study of the factors of production in space, and it occupies a relatively small part of economic analysis. The study of economic geography plays at best a marginal role in economic theory, so we set out to flip the script. Starting here in the southwest of the city of Johannesburg, at one of the largest markets famed for its low prices, we're here to test economist Paul Krugman's assertion that low prices and elastic prices are often found in large markets. This is China Mall, where prices are low and so elastic that they are negotiable. We spoke to shoppers and shop owners. Everything is less here, and then you get everything that you want. That is why I came here every time. The prices is less, it's less. I came here to buy the Christmas gift. You get everything that you want when you came here. We do negotiate the prices, and one thing that I like about this place is totally different from a mall. What you get here, um, you can't get at a mall in most cases, or you get it more expensive than what we get here. Personally, I think when you go to this camp, for example, you actually also pay, pay for the brand. You pay for the brand, you pay for where it's situated, which is definitely in a mall. So when you're here, it's like straight from where they import it and they sell straight to their customers. So that's why the difference in, in the price. That's what I'm thinking. I think the ones that we buy at this camp is still the same quality, low quality, because um, we're not buying the quality that it used to be before. Nowadays, the quality we get here is the same quality that we get, whether it's this camp or in other place. Definitely the prices. Okay, I'll make an example. Um, I came here looking for a portable um, gas stove because of the low shading and stuff. If I go to a mall, I go to game, I get that one plate type of gas stove, which is more than 600. Here I get a two plate of that at roughly 300, 280, 300. Okay, half the price. Half the price. No more high prices for me, no more low shading for me, and at least I'll save money for my kids. Um, we come here, well, because it's around festive now, and there's a lot of things that we find here that you can't find in other stores in malls. Like the TV sets, the, the, the high facets, um, the stoves, you know, kitchen, kitchen appliances and all that, you can get it a bit, I can say, less 10% basically on the product. I think here yeah, they're pushing a lot of volume. Yeah. That's what they are up to actually. They're pushing a lot of volumes compared to the mall. So most people obviously they will come to places where you buy one, maybe you get this for free or you can negotiate price. Take for example this chair, retailing here at just 35 Rand. We took ourselves further uptown to the Oriental Plaza and surrounding areas in Fortsburg to find out what drove prices this low. Since the December start is going quite well, no complaint. Lots of people and uh, thanks God we are happy in Everything is going well. You import, don't you? Uh, it's imported materials, of course. We buy local market here. Yes. yes. It's a so, local market. Yes, thing. like uh, from Egyptian and uh, some Turkish stuff, all these Persians, those stuff we buy and we sell. So, um, how's the currency been affecting you? The it's, uh, last two, three months, it was quite bad, you know, it was bad. But now, thank God, now since the December start, now is the currency value also good. It's a profitable business, no complaint. It was very good, really, it was very good for this year because we have a lot of customers. Volumes, volumes, volumes. So much. We make a special and we give to the people, and the people, they came more. Are shop. your prices negotiable here? Hundred percent. You can negotiate. Hundred percent. Even even two times more. If you if I say to you I don't want to pay three ninety, can you say to me, no, Tandega, don't pay three ninety, pay two twenty? Yes, I can do it. I can give you a trader's price. A trader's price? Yes. Why? 
Because it's a, when you buy in a forum, I give you a good price. Yeah? Really? I just have to ask for the price. No, I, I need to, to talk to you. Yeah. And I ask you, mm -hmm. that, uh, how, how many items are you buying? Yeah. When you say, what I'm buying, maybe about 20, 30. I say that is a good business. When you go to the malls, yeah. are very special, are very uh, expensive. But when you come to our site, we are not in, inside the mall. That's why we find ourselves, the prices are very cheap. South is very cheap, more than north. Right. Be because when you go to north, they say you go from Rodeport site, you go Santin, go Midrand. We can't, we can't compare them to us. Why? Because we in this side got too much competition. That's why our price goes down. Is why, why do you have so much competition? Because about maybe 30 stores are selling one item. Is the market big? It's big. We asked ourselves the question, could it be that Auckland Park is the boundary of the proverbial wealthy north versus the affordable south? Much of the city is still marked by spatial apartheid, but the leafy north spreads out from here. We look to Cresta in the northwest. Here, eyelashes that we found at China Mall for 20 rand cost upwards of 240 rand. Shoppers say they are paying for the air conditioning, the real estate, the safe parking and the surveillance cameras, the safety and the lack of queues at the ATMs and cashiers. Christmas shopping was so good. I enjoyed shopping actually to, uh, this year, but although the money was ish, I tried to save here and there, but I did enjoy really. And also the specials, it was nice. I'm all the way from uh, Cosmo City, so I've passed so, I've passed so many malls to come to, uh, to Cresta. So I think maybe they attract us with those like condi air conditioning because it's so free, it's not full. So you, yes, yes. As I'm here at Cresta, I'm checking out which stores are open. I stay in Dipslot, an informal settlement. I can't shop in the malls in informal settlements and still shop here at Cresta. I shop where I can afford. I'll compare prices. Remember, January is still coming. I don't want my kids to suffer. It's expensive, but it's closer to work. Johannesburg City is not safe, so I can't shop there. This is Santon City. Africa's richest square mile, home to the well healed. The only thing for 20 rand here is the parking. This is the home of Sea and Be Seen and the famous glittering diamond walk. Here, handbags cost as much as an RDP house. An expensive eyelid would be bad if you even attempted to bargain or negotiate a price here. The price geography of Johannesburg is a map of its class system. It is a case of the larger the market, the lower the price. Tandaka Kubulembeki, SABC News, Johannesburg.